Hey everybody, this is 42% Health with a special video that I've been kind of meaning to make for a long time. Uh, lots of people have asked me why I changed over to PR Boom from ZDoom. And uh, the answer is actually in this map. You might recognize this map as the infamous Oku2v31.wad. Um, it's an untitled map by Okuplock. And uh, it has no less than 21,000... 21,211 monsters. Now, I'm still fairly early in the map, and obviously I used cheats to get here. Uh, but I wanted all I wanted to do is show off a certain mechanic. This is PR Boom Plus. Um, this is a part where there's all these mancubi on a ledge. There's many more over there, as you can see the fireballs flying towards me. Um, but there is this one corner. When you get to this point, a huge cackle horde spawns over there. But there's this one corner where you're safe from the mancubi. So what I like to do is hide right here and just lob rockets that way. Fortunately, uh, all the cackos are right on level with our rockets. And then when the fireballs get close, I just scoot over a bit. Scoot over a bit more. And basically we can keep doing this for a while until we start running out of rockets. Super easy strategy here, right? It gets harder. Don't worry. Like, we're about to run out of rockets. And you can see that we've got some cackles that are kind of flying off. And those guys make it difficult. Because now we got to run, fill up on rockets. And we can't really hide right here anymore. I mean, we can kind of. But it gets awkward. Um, actually, I'm still invulnerable. But, uh... Yeah, at some point you gotta... Move your way around here. Uh, then you can use these cacos actually as a shield against the mancubi over there. You can gather all the rockets from here. But anyway, this is this is a nice strategy, right? It's a nice clean reproducible strategy. Doesn't depend on lots of RNG or anything. I mean, you can you can do this. Anybody can do this. You don't need extreme doom skills in order to be able to do this. just killing cacodemons with rockets. That's all it is. Uh, it gets a little trickier about this time because if you were not invulnerable, I'm still invulnerable because I, all I'm trying to do is show off the mechanics of it. But it gets, it gets trickier right here because eventually the cacos force you around the corner and then you're exposed to the mancubi. Because you can't, you can't kill all the cackles before they make it to the ledge. But yeah, basically you just hide here as long as you can. Dodge all the fireballs. And uh, that would have been really bad if I was not invulnerable. But yeah, eventually you get forced around the corner here. Once you make it here, these bars start lowering. You can keep killing Mancubi if you want. The Cacos will do a lot of infighting with them. But yeah. So, this is PR Boom. This is how it looks in PR Boom. I'm going to cut the video and show you what it looks like in Z Doom. So, I will be right back.
Hey guys, I am back. Uh, this is GZ Doom. Uh, just to show off in compatibility, I am in strict Doom compatibility. So this is supposedly exactly how uh, vanilla Doom behaves. Um, the uh, suddenly my train of thought was lost to me. Anyway, I am right it back in the exact same spot where I was. Uh, we come back here and hide. Start lobbing rockets. And watch what happens. Why are all the cacodemons floating downwards? Like, we can keep doing this strategy. But there's so many cacodemons just floating downwards because we hit them with rockets. Also, I don't know why the music's not working. This is unusual. Like we can we can start out doing this. But eventually, all those cacodemons aren't going to come back up again. See, what's he doing way over there? And now our rockets are pointing downwards. Some of them are going to hit the ledge. Come around, it's time to use these guys as a meat shield. But look at this mess. How in the world are we supposed to fight this? <laughs> now we're blowing up rockets at our own feet. So yes, moral of the story, in Z-Doom, even in vanilla compatibility mode, uh, flying monsters are absolutely, this is such a mess, this is a huge mess, flying monsters are absolutely unmanageable. And you know I like to play slaughter maps, slaughter maps are all about managing monster herds. <laughs> I mean, I'd already be dead three times over just from taking splash damage because of rockets hitting, hitting the ground at my feet with rockets. How in the world are you supposed to play this? Like, we've only got, we've only got a few cacos dead. Look at that. That's all the cacos that are dead. Most of them escaped damage because they went downwards. So, this is, this is really the main, well, I don't know the main, this is the last straw for me when I was trying to play this map in Z-Doom. This part here, this is a damaging floor, by the way. I mean, you're not supposed to, and there's no way back out of it. You're not supposed to come down here. But yeah, this was this is the the map that made me decide that I should switch over to PR Boom because these flying monsters are absolutely unmanageable. There's no there's no beating this part in Z Doom at all. <laughs> this is just a mess. So I've got one other thing I want to show off real quick uh, before I end this video, but I'm gonna have to put another cut here, so I'll be back in just a second. Hey everybody, I am back. Uh, this is, once again, PR Boom Plus. This is New Gothic 2, uh, map 10. And what I want to show off here is the effect Infinite Height has, uh, actually, in the player's favor. So, um, the reason I'm, I'm showing this off is because a lot of people 
complain loudly about infinite height and how unfair it is that you can't run under flying monsters, etc., etc. Um, I can see how it's unrealistic that you can't run over under flying monsters, but it is not unfair because there is actually... It gives the monsters a severe disadvantage uh, that I think is actually greater than the disadvantage it, disadvantage it gives you as a player. Once again, I'm invulnerable because I didn't really want to like try playing this map to get to this point. But uh, So this is PR Room Plus. Of course, infinite height is on. Um, hopefully I can show this off here. But what happens is... If we wanted, we could we could hold these monsters back with the BFG, right? We don't have a lot of cacodemons. This is what bugs me. But we're able to hold these monsters back with the BFG. And basically, you can kind of tell that cacodemon up there, he's stuck. He can't get to us. Why? Because he's infinitely tall and he's getting stuck on all the other monsters. So, cacodemons can't fly over other monsters. And for that reason, we're able to just stand here and spam BFG all day and kill all the things. Right? So you're probably going to be able to guess what's coming next after this cut. Alright, I'm back, and once again I'm in GZ Doom. Uh, this time, however, I have the default compatibility, so infinite height is turned off. And this is really kind of the way that I used to play Doom. Probably most people who are brand new to Doom play Doom uh, is with in without infinite height using GZ Doom. Now, watch what happens. Hopefully this will behave kind of the same. Uh, this level's got a lot more RNG as to where, which monsters are alive and which ones and where they go and everything. So I'm kind of at the same spot. But watch what happens when I try to hold back this mob with BFG. I basically have two layers of monsters that I'm trying to kill. And because of the way the BFT works, I can only... The tracers are either going up or they're going straight forward. I can't... And my, my power's getting divided. Now you can see I'm kind of able to do it, but whenever I have to stop for cover or to go get ammo, I lose ground and I can't really gain that ground back. At least not until all the cackles are dead. Also, because these monsters are actually pressing forward, and I am losing ground, uh, I'm also taking a lot more fireballs, and I would totally be dead now if I was actually playing without the invulnerability on. See, I'm finally able to gain ground again, because the cackles are gone. Ah! But yeah, I would be dead three times over by now. So yeah, there's basically two layers of monsters that have to be controlled now. Uh, with... What the heck is that noise? Okay. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, when you have infinite height turned on, or if you're playing in PR room, of course, which has infinite height on by default, uh, the cackles get stuck on the monsters below, and they can't 
they can't really swarm you all that effectively. And then you can kind of treat it as if, you know, there's only one layer of monsters, and you can herd everything uh, normally. Um, and like I had said before, you know, Doom slaughter maps are all about controlling the monster hordes and and uh, containing them, if you will. Uh, but the, the problem when you have infinite height turned off, uh, the cacos are free to roam. They don't get stuck on the monsters below them. The monsters below them don't get stuck on the cacos. And now you basically have two groups of monsters, uh, the ones above and the ones below. And like you saw, my BFD power gets divided between the two groups, and I can no longer hold them back. Uh, so I used to play Z-Doom like this. Um, I used to think that I would never be able to handle uh, infinite height and that I, the getting stuck on, on monsters way above me would drive me absolutely bonkers. Um, and it does a little bit, but the fact that the monsters can get stuck on each other now and the fact that I can control them all as one giant herd uh, actually far outweighs the disadvantage. So, yeah, that's the that's the reason. It's kind of the long explanation of why I switched over to PR room. Um, once I once I realized that I that you know the game actually becomes easier with infinite height turned on. That was kind of the last mental roadblock I'd put up between myself and playing more vanilla style Doom. And then when I got to the the uh, Oku map in Z Doom and realized that that bit was like entirely un unbeatable without cheats. Um, that's when I was that's when I was finally convinced to switch over to PR Room. So like I said, some people have asked me uh, why I switched over. That's the long and the short of it is that really there's there's no disadvantage to well, okay, I, that's not fair to say. There is a slight disadvantage to infinite height, but there's also an advantage, and I think the advantage outweighs the disadvantage. And the other thing is that uh, flying monsters are just a pain in the butt uh, using Z-Doom. So if you were wondering why I switched over, there it is. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.